Welcome back to the Red Booth Show. I'm here with the director and artist, Dean Carr. Thank you. So if you've been a, a fan of any music, uh, rock music of any kind for the last 30 years, you've probably seen something that Dean has worked on. You've probably bought one of the albums that he's done the artwork on, or you've bought uh, songs that he's done the music videos for. I mean, these are just legendary people that you've worked with. Uh, this, so, so we were just going through his, his book and I do, I want to make sure also, cause I could keep talking about this book probably for like two, three, four, five hours. But, um, I wanted to also talk to you about like, how did you get started doing this? Like, how did this all happen? Yeah. Um, I'm from Seattle and I was just really into music at a young age, young age. Half of it, I loved it. Half of it, I loved it because it drove my mom crazy. <laughs> and I, I would put locks on the inside of my bedroom door to keep her, her out and keep the in. music up. But, <laughs> but it was all Maiden, Priest, and Sabbath, and yeah. like as if it was loud, it was being played there. But I was starting to go to concerts really young, like fourteen or so, on my own with the friends in the neighborhood. We'd sneak out and go to the concerts, and it was always like Black Sabbath and. And uh, man, I just, I was into photography and I wanted to figure out a way to keep the memory. So I, my grandpa gave me an old Canon A1 and I take the lens off of the body um, and we put them in sandwich bags and my best friend would stick the lens down between his, you know what's in it. And then I would do the same with the camera. We would get in, they didn't have metal detectors back then. We'd meet in two stalls and hand the thing under the stall. Dang. I'd build the camera, put it under my <laughs> t-shirt and we would just run out on the, on the floor and we were just little kids and the big kids would just let us right up onto the wall. So we'd be right on the wall and I'd have the camera there and I was like, holy crap, this is wow. so amazing. I just got goosebumps, chicken Look skin. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, I mean, plus going in and seeing actually Ozzy Osbourne, and that must have been really but the, amazing. The best thing is that these are all people I work with now. I know. That's what's like, how, so how did it go from you being the kid, the fan, sneaking in contraband cameras? They'll be at my house. To shooting to, Slipknot. To, and, I have a know. different album of all the stuff when I was just 14 to 18, and uh -huh. I'll have these bands over. The singer of Iron Maiden was at my house. He was having some tea. And wait, I, wait. So how did you first <laughs> meet one of these guys? I got to hear this. Like... Like, well, after all the craze of all this video was so big and that video, yeah. then maybe it was the older bands were seeing what's going on with the younger bands and mm -hmm. the older bands started coming to me that mm -hmm. we need some, some of this juju. Nice. What was your first music video? First one was for a Canadian artist uh, named Sash jo Jordan. Lovely lady. Um, that wasn't a huge video. It was big in, in Canada. but um, Cool. But I have had the bands at my house, and I show them the other album, 14 to 18 years old. Right. And I'm showing them a picture of them, and I'm working with them like in like, 2001. And yeah. this is like from 1980, no, like 1979. I have Van Halen from 1979. Wow. And they're like, like, you're, like you're a real fan, because you were there <laughs> taking their pictures. And I stuff. was. And I cut you off. You were telling the story about uh, Judas Priest came over to your house. No, it was Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden, sorry. Bruce Dickinson with... We did a movie uh, with them, probably th one of the biggest rock and roll movies of the early 2000s. It was Iron Maiden, Rock in Rio, 18 camera shoot um, in Rio. We have only three cameras they, here today. <laughs> well, <like it. laughs> they were playing for 250,000 people in, in Brazil. Right. And we flew so Rock in, in Rio is a big event, actually. Yeah. Like that. yeah. But that band is bigger than any band in the world in South America, bigger than the Stones, bigger than Zeppelin. Those kids love their Iron Maiden more than any other man. Really? Yeah, so we were flying in uh, half of our, we couldn't all fit in one helicopter, so we had two helicopters, half a Maiden, half a Maiden. Paul Rogers from Bad Company was in this one. Wow. And Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin was in this one, and we're coming over, over a quarter million kids with the steam coming off and filming the whole damn thing, because it was amazing. There we go. You're supposed to I'm get. about chicken skin. <laughs> if I get chicken skin, I'm not lying. <laughs> That's so awesome. I cannot believe it. Okay. Mm. Okay, so like you, you're shooting, you're shooting this Iron Maiden video. Here's Slipknot. I mean, you've just worked. And we do movie posters and advertising. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> oh my God. That's awesome. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I love it. I mean, he's, I'm obviously a huge fan of him too. Yeah. So, um. Jeez, you've met some really amazing people. Dave Matthews, 
Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie. Yeah, you did a music video for Lisa Marie, right? I did. She was absolutely lovely. Well, but the uncanny, she looks just like her father. That's man. the thing, is her, the, the legacy. Chick. She's a chick version of yeah. Elvis, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, and, and he's obviously super handsome, or he was. Yeah. Um, wow, okay, Chris Rock, never scared. So you shot this? It was a campaign for HBO. He was at my art gallery in Maui, and he saw this picture of Dave Matthews and said, I want my new campaign to look like Oh. That picture you took for Dave Matthews. Wow. So we replicated that, and that was big billboards on Sunset Boulevard and, and all that. So <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> so what was the first like known band? Uh, well, okay, well, we have to take a break. Sorry, time's up. Okay, we'll be right back. Yeah, we're going to do another show. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be right back with Dean Carr on The Red Booth Show. Hey, so that was just one of our little parts of this interview with Dean Carr. Continue watching by clicking on the next video. Thanks for watching The Red Booth.